Hello and welcome to the Personalities of the Tarot podcast. I'm your host, Elizabeth Sear, and this is Season 2, Episode 26, for April 20th, 2024. And welcome to Earthly Taurus! We have a pink full moon April 23rd. It peaks at 749 Eastern, or three hours earlier, out west. Pink moon, because it's spring and the flowers are blooming, more specifically named for the wild pink phlox that used to grow. This full moon is in Scorpio, and Scorpio is all about transformation. And this energy makes sense following a super transformational solar, uh, solar eclipse on April 8th. So you Scorpios and Taurus will likely really feel it. Uh, Taurus is opposite Scorpio on the astrological wheel. So buckle up. We all get to feel it beginning April 20th through the 26th or so. We also have Mercury retrograde still (laughs) until April 25th. So again, if you don't have to sign any important documents, uh, travel long distance or plan and purchase travel and buy big merchandise, I say just wait to get through the month if you can. May will be so much better for agreements, communication, and technology. You know, I wish I could reach out to my web host right now and ask them to put off moving servers. I mean, it desperately needs an upgrade. It's so bad. I've had the same hosting server for probably a decade or so, and they're finally moving them to a new and updated uh, hardware. However, (laughs) they're doing this during Mercury retrograde and... When the energy is most intense, it's in the week or so leading up to and after the very beginning and the very end of the period. So essentially, I'm throwing out some extra good vibes for this move, and we'll see how it goes. You know, as it is, my site had a critical error three days after retrograde began, and it was caused by an automatic update that I didn't catch. It was still switched on. So I guess what I'm saying continue to be vigilant. Just pay attention when you're driving, traveling, working with machinery, communicating, and try not to make any big decisions for another week or two. As I wrote my notes for this episode, I saw that a lot of people, many of them in positions of power, they really haven't taken the advice uh, of Mercury retrograde and what we're throwing out there. They haven't taken that to heart. And instead, they may have escalated tensions in their respective relationships, situations, regions. Remember, when something transforms as things are now, they can't. They can't or they won't ever go back to their previous form. So what I have to say about the five of coins being the energy we're up against for the next 10 days may be interesting or helpful for you. If you still want to hear more about Taurus and how to get some ease through this earth sign, especially working with a transformational full moon and chaotic five of coins forces, then pop in or on those headphones and take a walk. Maybe just go for a drive. Or sit back and relax while I share how to work with the energy that we're all experiencing now. The Hierophant is the great teacher, sometimes known as the Pope in the tarot. And the Hierophant is also the major arcana symbol for the sign of Taurus. Those born April 20th to May 20th will usually follow established structures and traditions, while also putting their own personal touches on them, creating greatness like George Lucas with Star Wars, Fred Astaire with dancing, William Shakespeare with his writing, Audrey Hepburn with her acting, but also as an incredible UNICEF goodwill ambassador, the voice of Barbara Streisand, or the the voice of Malcolm X, all Taurus. Taurus is ruled by the planet Venus. Like fellow Venus-ruled Libra, they love a good aesthetic and character. While they don't mind a large crowd, they do tend to prefer smaller groups for meaningful discussion and connection. The Hierophant Taurus personality has faith in their deeply held beliefs, for peace or pain, and they speak the truth in the face of adversity. They usually try to maintain balance and conform to certain rules or community norms, but They also have a seeker mentality and a willingness to expand their horizons or broaden their views when faced with reason and rationality. Of course, 
This is only if they aren't stuck in their earthiness. If they manifest their shadow side, the Taurus Hierophant personality can be in conflict with authority and just kind of have a know-it-all attitude. They can become so inflexible and maybe even prejudiced as to alienate those who should or could learn from them or from whom they could learn a lesson or two. Taurus are reminded that everything is a learning experience and knowledge should always be shared. However, delivery is everything. For everyone of all signs during Taurus, you may learn or teach something new. The time of the Hierophant is perfect for becoming a mentor or student, especially in spiritual, theological, and esoteric teachings. We should also remember that learning is not finite. There's always more to learn. So the best teachers are always going to be those who are open to new concepts and ideas. April 20th to May 20th is a great time to comprehend the connection of the mind, body, and spirit, uniting the higher and the lower self. You may find that you become more interested in an organization, being committed to a common cause, or sharing a group identity of some sort. No matter what, the time of the Hierophant can be used to speak truth to power. However, you needn't topple existing concepts or institutions to do this. There is an opportunity to make the conceptual tangible, translating principle into practice through understanding the connection of all things. Broaden your views, be open to others, and take the opportunity to improve yourself now. Uh, okay, here we go. The first 10 days or 10 degrees, first third of Taurus is covered by the energy of the five of coins. So as I mentioned, mentioned previously, fives tend to throw things into a bit of chaos. It's between the stability of the fours, think of a table with four legs, very stable, and the rebalancing of the sixes. And then you've got coins, coins or pentacles. They deal with our physical world, money, home, property, school, career, and physical health. So the time of the five of coins, April 20th through the 30th, can bring some destabilization in one or more of those areas just mentioned. Something could become devalued or broken. There could be a mismanagement of the physical or material loss, such as the loss of a job or income, property, or even illness or injury. There may be a sense of uncertainty now, and if you haven't already done so, it could be time to ask for help from others. Look beyond the material and find your center to keep your balance during difficulty and times of lack. This struggle is only temporary in the grand scheme of things, but sometimes dis-ease forces us to review not only our finances, but also the overall health of our life. In knowing what we're working with, we can create a plan to change our situations. Life is too short to continually worry about money. You have to remember that our mental, emotional, spiritual, and physical health is all intertwined. We are spiritual beings having a physical experience after all. But if you're feeling abandoned or unwanted in some way, you should definitely be seeking out your BFFs, you know, those friends and family members who care for you. Okay, and for those born during this time, there's likely a focus on keeping life in balance. Uh, if you're working with the shadow side of this birth period, you could experience extremes and a lack of luck during important periods of your life, especially when it comes to finances, career, or health. Make sure to surround yourself with people who have a care for your well-being. It's famous birthday time. Here's my random list of famous or infamous early Taurus characters and celebrities born April 20th through the 30th. Those on the list were born with the energy of the Hierophant and the Five of Coins, spoken about here, and also the Knight of Coins, whom we spoke about on the last episode. 
As always, this list does not mean I agree or disagree with a person's words or life choices. It's simply to educate on the early Taurus personality, giving you the opportunity to compare public personas with their tarot and astrological correlations for bad or good. We're going to start with the easy ones, uh, a couple of famous 420s. The beloved George Takai, Jessica Lange, Crispin Glover, Emperor Napoleon III, Edie Sedgwick, and Luther Vandross. Other early Taurus include one of my faves, Iggy Pop, Robert Smith, James McAvoy, John Waters, Colson Baker, also known as Machine Gun Kelly, Jeffrey Dean Morgan, Robert Oppenheimer, Nikolai Lennon, Valerie Bertinelli, John Cena, John Oliver, Dev Patel, Gigi Hadid, Shirley Temple, the father of quantum physics, Max Planck, Jake and Josh Kiska of Greta Van Fleet, Shirley MacLaine, Barbara Streisand, I already mentioned her earlier, Cedric the Entertainer, Al Pacino, Renee Zellweger, Hank Azaria, Ella Fitzgerald, Carol Burnett, Jet Li, Kevin James, Marcus Aurelius, Pablo Triver, T Boz from TLC, Patrick Stump, a Fallout Boy, Lizzo, Kate Pearson from the B 52s, Coretta Scott King, the wife of MLK Jr., Penelope Cruz, Harper Lee, Kim Gordon, who recently put out a great solo album, by the way, Drew and Jonathan Scott, Jerry Seinfeld, Jerry Seinfeld, sorry about that, Michelle Pfeiffer, Uma Thurman, the great Duke Ellington, William Randolph Hearst, Dale Earnhardt, Willie Nelson, ah, oh, God bless Willie Nelson, Johnny Galecki, Kirsten Dunst, Travis Scott, and Elizabeth II, Queen of England. I'll be back around May 1st to talk the Six of Coins and Middle Taurus. Try to keep your balance, leaning on others if need be, during this time at the beginning of the sign. Also, that full pink moon in Scorpio on the 23rd and the end of Mercury retrograde on the 25th may throw some wrenches into the best laid plans. Be prepared to be patient and just try to have a backup plan. As you know, I've been closing for the past several months with my message of love and respect. This is the most important message I can share with the world right now. Do you want to see more love and respect in the world? Be loving, be respectful to the earth and all of her inhabitants. Right now, the world needs your love and respect because so many people are brought into this world without it. So when you're impatient or angry with others, remember that love and respect still need to matter here. Help it grow by showing others how it's done. You've been listening to Elizabeth Sear, and I'm grateful for this time with you.